In this video, we're going to understand how we can grow your small Sari Sari store. Hey guys, Jan here, founder of The Present, and welcome back to our channel. So today, we're going to answer a question coming from a guy, or should I, it's a girl, um, Juliet Dinopol Andot if I pronounce it right. So Juliet, thank you so much for asking this question. So the question goes like this. Sir, paano palagoin ang maliit na sari-sari store? So in English, that means how can you grow your sari-sari store? So if you don't know this, guys, sari-sari store is like a small grocery shop that's located usually in a village or in a subdivision and then or in a barangay. And then they sell like... Um, Pancit Canton or candies or like the basic things that people are going to get from you, okay? So the answer to that is, the good thing is that we do have, I do have a very small background in terms of Sari Sari store because my mom, she had a business before in terms of groceries and all, she was selling like sardines and all these canned items and then also different stuff, right? Like Pancit Canton, um, soap, shampoo, toothbrush and the, these things okay so the sad part the first reality that we have to understand about sari sari store is that it has an income limitation what i mean by that is your profit is most probably very very small okay if you're selling like a soap your profit may be 50 cents or one peso so it's not that huge of a business to begin with when you're talking about a sari sari store number two is that your customer base, your market in this case, are usually those people who are in the class C level. So that means their spending capacity is also small. So the only way for you to earn big is for you to have volume, okay? The more soaps, the more stuff, the more things that you can sell, the more that you can earn money, right? Or from your, from your margins. And so top of mind, those things or the ideas that I have in terms of what you can do to increase your income is that you can have multiple branches, okay? So you have a branch here, you have a branch over there. So even if you have a very small margin but you are replacing it or you are recuperating it in terms of like your volume because you have sales here, you have sales here, you have sales here, you have sales over there. So if you're going to add, it, add them all up, it's going to give you more money all right number two is you can increase your inventory but this is a big headache because the more inventory that you're going to have the more headache is going to be okay this is why inventory is very annoying for some people i personally do inventorying for our company and i don't like it but i have to do it right there are times that it's over there are times that it's short so as long as it is not balanced it's not good okay because you have to balance it out. Whatever comes in, that's also the amount or the quantity that it should go out. So it's not, it shouldn't be like imbalance. Are you getting this? So you can increase your inventory based on the demand of your customers and you can supply them with that need. So that when you are the only person giving them that, the, the thing, you have more margin. So it's like the law of supply and demand, again, and that's one of the things that you, su you should consider. So yeah, um, first idea is for you to branch out. Number two is you can also increase your inventory so that um, you have more income, okay? So question of the day, maybe you have something, you have an idea that you can share to Juliet. So let, let, let her know and let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.